Hey, are you here? How you doing, guys? It's the Healthy Highwayman. I'm in Fostoria, Ohio, and it's uh, 39 degrees. How's it going? I'm Mr. Mustache Man, Mr. Mustache Motivation Man here. How you doing? Ha ha! I want to get on here and just kind of uh, tell you my progress and keep you motivated and accountable and, uh, you know... I have some notes here, and I got, uh, just want to hop on here and, uh, turn around, upside down, tell you life is good, it's not too bad, not too bad at all, is life really that bad, come on, come on, come on, can you hear me, sound check, one, two, sound check, uh, zippity doo da, zippity day, it's Monday morning, I don't care, it's cold? I don't care. I still got two weeks and a day before I go home? I don't care. I'm going to keep on out here trucking. I hear the birds are singing. Got my black coffee here with nothing in it. I am an o matter. I eat at 3 o'clock for one hour, which I try to eat in an hour. I, try, I don't try to eat so fast, but for some reason, I've always been a fast eater. Ever since the Army, where they told you, don't taste your food, don't chew your food, just throw it down your gullet, and let's go, we gotta go, 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 we gotta get to the rifle range, <laughs> so that's my philosophy, I don't really, uh, but I'm doing good, I'm really, like I said, I'm really not losing weight, but I'm not gaining weight, this winter weather here, I got a, my, uh, <clears throat> my monthly block here, I got four weeks, uh, well, 20, of 25 days, three and a half weeks of being good. It's called the 25 Days of Winter Madness Challenge. So I'm definitely going to be really good for 25 days. And when I go on home time, I usually loosen the reins a little bit and uh, not be so strict with my diet or exercise. But I'm just waiting for the bread and butter months, right? Old man outlaw. Now listen, i got something to tell you. I really do. I, let me let me resort to my notes here. Um, after the bread and butter months, don't see good results this summer. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to keto. Uh, keto, uh, Omed Outlaw. There, I'm gonna do what he's doing because he's looking good. You're looking really good, Outlaw. I tell you, I don't know if it's the Amazon or what, but keep up the videos. I like him. I watch him, and uh, I love our little team here. I only got a little. Whatever, a little community of old matters here, that's no problem. I don't know, if I could just help 12 or 24 people or one person, that's all it needs. I don't, you know, let's do it. But OMAD is my lifestyle and it will be for my life. And I am going to post here until I go up to OMAD heaven. And I'll probably still do OMAD there too. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I'll have another t uh, 10 reasons why you should do OMAD, uh, live a healthy lifestyle, and do light exercise. I got another 10 reasons here. Please, if you don't hear your reasons, just go ahead and drop it down below in the comment section. If you have more ways, I'm looking for new, uh, new ways to lose weight or new reasons why you should lose weight. I need to go back and uh, see what the OMAD, uh, the OMAD uh, man used to say. Uh, I like you, but uh, so I guess I'll go keto come uh, October first. But until then, I'm gonna keep with keep with the the girl I brought to the dance, and that is Omad, uh, well balanced meal and uh, you know, coffee, water, and a uh, little exercise. I already did my 36 minute walk this morning. And I, uh, I'll hit the, I do an hour power later on with my resistant band, and I uh, do some sit-ups and stuff like that. I got my jeans on. Do you believe that? I don't, <laughs> I don't wear uh, long pants too often, but when I do, you know it's cold outside. Got my coffee from the Loves truck stop this morning. Loves, I love Loves, and uh, so. Uh, that's it. Let's go ahead and do the uh, top 
the next 10 reasons why you should be on a, be on a healthy lifestyle and uh, stuff. How long has it been? Five minutes? Ah, we got plenty of time to do ten minutes today. I've been posting more often here, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for my videos, because now that the, the days are getting longer and the weather's getting, well, sunnier and uh, I hear birds singing, I do more videos because that's why I like walking, because walking helps me with my mental status. I mean, really does. I think walking really improves my mental status. I won't be so, de not depressed or whatever, but I won't be so down in the dumps. I'll have more pep in my step if I do walking. Uh, just take a light one. Do something that you like. Tennis, you know, what I said, just do something you like, but move something. It's a commercial I always think about. I, it's, I don't know, it's some sort of commercial for the big pharmaceutical companies, whatever. But it said, if you have an active, if you ha do activities, your body will stay in motion, or a body that is in motion stays in motion. So a body that is a couch potato is going to stay a couch potato. So I live by that philosophy before. So I want to stay in motion, even though, uh, uh, you know, whatever. So that's my philosophy. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. So the next 10, this is reasons 41 to 50, why you should lead a healthy lifestyle of eating, exercising, nomading, and eh, stuff like that. Number 41, your bones creak less. You don't have so much cracking in your bones when you wake up or when you're moving or walking. You see, I used to crack all the time. Now my bones ain't cracking. So that's a good reason why you should lose some weight. And uh, no problems there. You need less sleep at night. So usually, huh? Ooh, that's for sure. When I was heavy, and you know, I would have to sleep 10, 11 hours a day. Now I could probably get away with maybe plus a nap. Now I could probably get away with you know seven, six or seven hours a night and be just fine for the day. Uh, don't want to eat as much junk food when you're eating healthy and you're. Uh, yeah. When you were heavy, of course you would eat uh, junk food all day and boo boo boo. I got another thing I've just thought here. Um, with your eating here, you want to be a, a mindful. You want to you want to be mindful about your eating. You don't want to be mindless. So everything you eat needs to be. You want to kind of plan out your meal for the day. So everything you eat is mindful. You know, okay, I was going to eat that. I already planned it out. Don't be mindless. We just. Uh, I mean, I mean, I know I'm an overeater and a, a binge eater, the binge eater disorder person. So everything I eat for the day, even if it's chocolate, even if it's candy bar, it's already. I already planned it out for the day on my one meal a day. So. I, I, I remember uh, somebody said that the other day. I wanted to pass it on to you guys. Because that's what we do as a community. We want to build like a, a strong web of people that uh, we uh, can uh, bounce ideas off and bounce stuff off of. So, boom. Whoosh. All right, I'm ready to whoosh. I think my body is ready to whoosh. I, I'm holding on to these last 30, po 30 pounds like they're... To the last person on earth here. The last 30 pounds, the last thing on earth. My body really wants to hold on to it. I think it's the winter weather. You know, if you're a bear in hibernation, you want to hold on as much as weight as you can. So I think I'm kind of in hibernation bear, rah, Chicago Bears mode here, where my body doesn't want to release my fats. I probably will during the bread and butter months. No problem. All right, let's, let's continue, will we? Hi, Julie. Doing good. How you doing, buddy? All right. Who's next? What was I just saying? You don't want to eat more junk food. Uh, you will get more respect from others. I mean, that goes without saying. You know, unfortunately, heavier people don't get as much respect, and it's probably not even their fault that they're even heavy, or you know, they might have issues. But you know, like I say. A person's body is their own business. You shouldn't be telling them, you know, how to live their life. I mean, I mean, give some. I mean, give some of these tips and tricks if they are willing to take in the information. Otherwise, just go ahead and uh, 
which obviously I think you're here because we're all in the same boat. We're all trying to lose weight proactively, and uh, that's why I'm here. I'm not going to shove old mad into your face and say you should do it, but I recommend it. All right. You, your feet would get smaller. Of course, you know, I just went bowling the other last uh, time I was on home time. I usually took 14 bowling shoes, but now I only need 13 bowling shoes. And even those had a little bit of wiggle room in it. So they used to be 14s. So your, your foot will probably go down at least one size uh, once you start losing weight, you know, a significant amount of weight. Uh, you <laughs> can... Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, you go... <laughs> I was just saying. You want to go bowling. You want to get better at bowling be a better bowler. <laughs> I know if I wasn't over the road here, I definitely would get on a bowling league now, especially that I slimmed down. I'd definitely love to get back on a bowling league. I used to be in a bowling league in Chicago. My average is about 156. Nothing to write home about, but not too bad, not too good. I mean, there's a bowler in the PBA. His, his name is uh, Dick Allen. His, he's, he's just a typical house bowler. That's what I am. I'm just a typical house bowler. When I retire, get off the road, I'm definitely going to get back on a bowling league. And that's exercise. Hanging out with the guys. Heck yeah, social. Need less food in the fridge or cabinets. Exactly. If you eat less food food you won't need as much your refrigerator won't be so packed with food again i noticed that with my cooler that i keep in the truck i don't need as much food i used to have to really shove it down the food down into the cooler to get all my food in there now i don't need as much food that the i used to eat I, I have eight days worth of food now which is same food i used to have used to only last me six days so i'm eating the same amount of calories in eight days and I was in six days at my heaviest. So that right there is a, is a non-scale victory. <laughs> Love to throw those words around. Takes less time to shower. Well, that's just uh, kind of common sense. If you have less body to, uh, to, uh, <laughs> to wash, you don't have to worry about taking as much shower and uh, you got less body. And zig and zag. If somebody's trying to shoot at you, you zig and zag. You don't run, run in a... Well, there you go. If somebody's trying to shoot you, you'll be able to move more. It's, they have, and they have less body to shoot at you, so you won't have to worry about it. Put that on there. If somebody's trying to shoot you, you have a better chance of getting away because you'll be faster and you'll be thinner. <laughs> I'll put that on the list. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. All right. So next one and last one won't want to drink soda no more. You well, know, you won't want no soda. I, I really, I have soda, diet soda once in a great while, but really, I just crave water or coffee or... Water, coffee, water, coffee. I don't even drink as much coffee anymore as I used to either. I'll just switch. So I'll drink uh, maybe two cups of coffee and then I'll switch to uh, water the rest of the day. And usually come uh after i eat my meal and about maybe 5 6 p.m i don't even crave water i'm well hydrated because obviously your body needs less hydration the less the less uh, you weigh <laughs> i duly shout outs duly oh man caroline see the outlaw john emily patty and anybody else nobody else did anything so I don't, I don't think, but you guys comment the most, and uh, I like you. I like you. What was I say? I don't, I don't want to. Well, was just, <laughs> I want less of you. Make it hurt, oh man. Make it hurt. Peace and love. Peace and love. And uh, go team, oh man. Uh, that is all I can really tell you about. Yeah, I'll go ahead give you a well, how many minutes we got here 14 minutes that's a little longer than I wanted to hi give you a little panoramic view and Billy the white truck is over there I don't know if you can see it too good but uh, <laughs> from Fostoria Ohio uh, that is all bye my buddy